We've got a suggestion. Yeah, the Hanton Museum is a great place to learn while getting a little dirty at the same time. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us live from Ann Arbor with a look at some of the fun. Hey, Kim, what sort of activities are we talking about here? This is hands-on holidays at the Ann Arbor Hands-On Museum. I remember coming here as a kid, and there's tons of fun and stuff every single day, but they have extra fun stuff going on right now. I'm joined by Nicole Schmidt. Thanks for joining me this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. And we are... What are we doing right now? What we are doing is showing off one of our demonstrations that happens during hands-on holidays, and this is using liquid nitrogen. So this is something that's not a hands-on activity because this stuff is actually 320 degrees below zero that's Fahrenheit. That's cold. It's really cold. This hits the cold part of our hot and cold holidays. So this is but, a way to celebrate the cold without actually getting cold. Absolutely. But we have a lot of fun with it. You can see it's actually boiling right here at room temperature, and we can do all sorts of really neat things with with the kids. One of our favorites is actually to take these balloons already blown up and just push them into the liquid nitrogen. Now, how many of these things do you think I'm going to be able to get into this container? I don't know. They're pretty big. They're pretty big? So you think maybe we might get one, two in here? I know she's got tricks up her I sleeve. do. You know, you know what I'm doing the here. of science. We do. As we can <laughs> see, these are a lot of fun. We can put them in here. If I really wanted to take the time to do it, I could get about as many as 20 or 30 of these balloons into this container because, as you can see, they are shrinking down. And when I get them in there all the way, they shrink down into what I like to call pancake balloons. And this is also a learning experience. It is. What are you teaching kids with this? This 